forgetfulness is a kind of freedom says anil jitta forgetfulness is a kind of freedom the heart stands for freedom the center the core stands for freedom the truth stands for freedom and because the truth is the truth it cannot go away or disappear then why do we feel unfree if truth stands for freedom and truth cannot go away why do we often feel that our freedom has gone away if truth and freedom are synonymous and truth is everlasting and omnipresent then why does man appear to lose his freedom so often the truth is there and the truth does not lose its freedom who loses freedom the mind loses freedom the mind has no freedom of its own the mind has freedom only by virtue of its intimacy with truth truth is freedom and when the mind will be close to truth the mind too will be free the mind's freedom is available to it only when it is close to the truth truth is freedom and if the mind is away from truth then it will also be away from freedom now what is meant by being away from truth what is meant by this statement that the mind may be away from truth the truth is the truth need not be remembered the mind is not close to the truth because it remembers the truth the mind need not remember the truth to be close to the truth because the truth anyway is the truth is the natural and fundamental and innocent state of the mind it need not be remembered it is you need not remember yourself you are whatever you will remember about yourself would just be an identity you need not remember yourself you simply are but man remembers a lot and whatever you remember takes you away from truth whatever you remember takes you away from truth whatever you know as information as knowledge takes you away from truth that is why deep sleep feels so relaxing because in deep sleep you remember nothing in deep sleep you forget not only your pains but also your pleasures that is why deep sleep is so relaxing in deep sleep you forget not only 
the Satan and Maya, but also your gods. That is why deep sleep is so relaxing. Anybody here who remembers his gods, even in Sushupti, all your gods are just gods of the waking state of consciousness. They disappear as soon as the waking state is gone. That is why deep sleep is so relaxing. Relaxation is freedom from remembering, freedom from memory, freedom from knowledge and mental activity. That is the only true definition of relaxation. But we have taken a very beautiful word and turned it into a nightmare. We have taken the word remembrance and made it synonymous with memorization. Remembrance really means freedom from memory. Remembrance does not mean remembering anything in particular. Remembrance really means freedom from remembering. When you say that you remember where your keys are kept, then you remember something specific. When you say that you remember the face of your son, then you remember something in particular. But when the wise man says that he remembers God, all that he means is that he remembers nothing in particular. And that is what I call as just remembering. Remembering with nothing to remember. Remembering objectlessly. Remembering thoughtlessly. Just remembering. We have taken another beautiful word and given it a horrible meaning. The word is attention. When we are told to live an attentive life, often the image that is conveyed is that you should move around with a careful bundle of memories. The child did not do his homework. The teacher will say, you are not attentive enough, that's why you didn't do your homework. Now this teacher is giving a very poisonous meaning to a great word. Attention does not mean remembering a particular task or object or whatever. Attention just means being that's it. Being like an empty container. Free of rubbish. Free of everything. That is attention. Who is a wise man? The one who lives free of memories. The one who does not walk around with a mind full of objects. The one whose psyche is not 
made up of a to-do list he is a wise man but if you are a walking storehouse of knowledge and information and memory then you remember a lot and remembering a lot means forgetting the truth the more you will remember this world the more the world will, re will reinforce itself the more distinct you would be from the truth khalil gibran is putting it only mildly when he says forgetfulness is a kind of freedom boldly he must have declared forgetfulness itself is freedom it is not a kind of freedom it itself is freedom the world makes all attempts to ensure that you remember it what else is the world trying to do all the time it is attacking you through the eyes it is attacking you through the ears it is attacking you through conditioning and past the world is trying to enslave you by making you remember it have you not seen how bad the world feels when it sees that you do not remember it just try forgetting your wife's birthday and you will see what i mean when i say that the world enslaves you by making you remember it the world feels really offended if you forget the world there is no bigger insult to a person than to walk past him and not acknowledge his presence people feel deeply offended even if you abuse them it is all right at least you acknowledged their presence at least you remembered that they are there but if you are indifferent to the world if you are detached if their being if their presence means nothing to you then the world will not forgive you they want you to remember them liberation lies in not remembering and when you do not remember the false the truth is any way remembered you need not try to remember the truth your efforts will fail because there is nothing to remember how will you remember the truth the truth has no form no name no shape how can you remember the truth just forget the false just stop giving importance to the false and you are home sir in one of your discourses on nanak you have said that forgetfulness is separation so can you relate this to that statement the saints always talk of remembering they are speaking from the heights of their consciousness when they are saying that they remember what they mean is that they remember objectlessly but when the word remembrance comes to us we interpret it to mean that just as we are occupied with objects in all things of the mind similarly remembering too must be object specific the saint says remember 
and we here remember something the nanak dev says remember god he does not mean remember this or that he means remember that vast emptiness which is the essence of everything are you getting it forgetting means remembering objects spiritual in the spiritual sense forgetting means remembering remembering what the world are getting it i repeat god does not need to be remembered whatever you will remember will not be god whatever you will remember will only take you away from god god is freedom from remembering if somebody says i remember god all the time then he is deeply mistaken don't try the impossible nobody can remember god just do what is possible to you which is to not to remember the world that is sufficient don't let the world become so important to you that you remember it all the time that is sufficient free from the clutches of the world you remember god hmm you remember god and remember also that freedom from remembering the world cannot come without a remembrance of that freedom it is a deep deep remembrance of the truth that liberates you from the false the saints would say the same thing by saying that it is by the grace of the truth that you obtain the truth hmm? have you seen certain people closing their eyes and visualizing certain images and they do it as some kind of a spiritual activity they say we are remembering god you can keep doing this thing for thousands of years and you can keep entertaining yourself with all this you will reach nowhere no form name or figure that can be remembered is the truth the truth is when form names and figures stop touching and bothering you that is when the truth is be cautious of those who talk of the beautiful images of god
they are stuck within the boundaries of the mind and are worshipping nothing but those boundaries.